So uh, what we're seeing here is Batman and Nightwing. They're going to team up. They've been tracking down Penguin. Mm -hmm. He's got these weapon caches throughout the city. So okay. he's, he's got these locations. He's hiding weapons. He's stockpiling weapons. He's right. kind of supplying the weaponry to the other people in, in Gotham City. Okay. And you and Nightwing have teamed up to try and track him down. So you as Batman are going to try and infiltrate yeah. and uh, join up with Nightwing inside the cache to take out the enemy. And we make a classic Batman entry straight through the ceiling straight and then the seamlessly ceiling. straight into combat. As always, straight into combat. So obviously the big goal with our combat system is always to go straight into yeah. combat and to be seamless once you're there. And then talk us through what happens from here in the context of dual play. So from here, you're both fighting at the same time. The AI is taking control of the character you are not controlling. Cool. Now, at any point, as, as Batman, for example, you can switch to Nightwing, yeah. and the AI will switch to take control of the other character. Uh, if you're building your combo with Batman, and you, you see that there's an enemy over by Nightwing you want to take out, yeah. and you can switch to Nightwing, you'll keep your combo. If you've got your special charged up, you can instantly use your super combo takedown on that though. Super combo takedown. And that's these sort of epic takedown moments where both characters team up for a complete KO on that thug. Yeah, if you build up your, your takedown meter by hitting the thugs, then it, when you've got enough uh, charged up, you can execute that true play takedown. And then what about other features that we've seen previously in, in free flow combat? We've got uh, weapons that you can pick up off the ground, we've got double and triple takedowns. So dual play sort of sits on top of all those pre-existing systems. Yeah. Well, all those systems integrate together, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's, no, there's no separate system involved. It's all kind of trying to flow together seamlessly is always the goal of pre flow combat. Now you've been at Rocksteady from day one, so the combat that uh, everyone saw in Batman Arkham Asylum, this came out of your brainium. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> I mean, obviously everything's a collaborative effort, so sure. uh, you know, working heavily with Sefton, working heavily with everyone on the team who's got input into you know, how they want the game to progress and how they want the combat to feel. So. And how does it feel for you having sort of been there uh, and, and been so critical in the creation of this? Now it seems like such an expansive uh, new combat system that uh, it's incredible to think of where it came from and now where it's gone to. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty incredible to, to see where it's come to from, from those beginnings back on Arkham Asylum. I mean, I remember the prototype days yeah. and it was, uh, it was 2D combat. It was, <laughs> it was all sorts of different things in the early days, but now, you know, to see where it's come. And, and it's all because, you know, because of the input we've had from the team and, yeah. and the ideas we've had and the ways we've been able to progress it. Uh, due to the success of the previous games, it really allowed us to, to push it for yeah. this final. So Batman and Nightwing completely clearing house. It's an epic looking fight. The number of enemies that we've got in combat just seems to be almost out of control. We definitely had to up the count this time to account for the fact that there's two heroes in the room. Makes perfect sense. Tim, I think dual play is going to be one of those features that people go crazy for when they get their hands on Batman Arkham Knight. You have done an awesome job with this, but I know you're busy. You've got to get back to it, right? I do indeed. Thanks for your time. <laughs>